the Embankton radio talk shows, supported by the local government. Radio talk shows, we have been able to reach out to a number of stakeholders. We have reached to a number of young people, whereby we receive feedback from the callers in, in appreciation of what we do. These activities that we do from the radio talk shows have improved the number of lives of young ladies. We speak about sexual education as one of the topics that we have had, and many parents call and appreciate that many parents have been negligent to teach their children about sexual education but they are, with the call that we had with the talk shows that we have held they appreciated and they said the idea is really very good and through the talk shows we have managed to help very many people in the in the in the society we have helped very many girls overcome fears that have been always disturbing them in various ways and in very many positions like we had the talk show about menstrual hygiene we had, we had very many talk shows about child marriage and for example, we, I myself, I had a friend who, who got pregnant and she was thinking of getting married. But we had to sit her down, talk to her and tell her that getting married is not the end of everything. Just because you're pregnant does not mean you should end there or end your, end your future. You have to think about something bigger, like you have to go back to school. Getting pregnant is not the end of everything. It should not take you to marriage. So through these talk shows, we have been able to to, to create awareness among young, young people. We have managed to make them understand that through getting pregnant or messing up a little bit, marriage is not the only option they always have. There are very many things to do and they can always go back to school after giving birth topic that we have had a discussion about was the gender-based violence where we see feedback from our callers appreciating us once again for the initiative. Uh, with gender-based violence we have received the testimonies where families have been able to unite has helped us to build a more stronger bond with the parents, with the students and even with institutions. One of the things that we do right now, we have introduced even school debates where some of the young children, the young the students, have joined now to speak about these things. Yeah, in the environment we have created awareness like we have gone through schools teaching all students how, how to maintain hygiene and how to keep themselves through through that proce that process of menstrual hygiene. And we have created awareness. We are sure most of them have learned because there are very many. Some people don't don't. We always find them when they don't when they don't know how to use those stuff since they, they are not taught by their parents and even teachers assume their parents have done it so they don't take the initiative to teach them. That's where we come in and give them the awareness. Teach them how to use them, how to keep themselves clean and to, to prevent them from getting infections. And through these talk shows that we have carried out, we have been able to help very many people. For example, on radio, some parents call asking for advice, others call asking for help and guidance as their children have gone through whatever we have been talking about on radio. For example, there was a parent who called and their daughter had got pregnant, but since she was pregnant, she was only thinking of getting married, she didn't want to go back to school. So we had to take initiative to go, sit her down and give her advice, like talk to her, encourage her and tell her that marriage is not the solution and she can continue and make a future for herself regardless of what she's in right now. We have been able to do this through collaboration and partnerships with the different stakeholders.